That, look at the size, 6'3", 250, chiseled frame, tremendous speed and athleticism. You see all the, the production, the block kicks, the LeVar leap. Remember, this is a guy with a great running back in high school, scored 72 touchdowns at the prep level, was recruited in terms of basketball by the likes of Georgetown, UMass, and North Carolina. So the athleticism that he had at the high school level translated into all those sacks with the Nittany Lions of Penn State. You see him here, watch this play. The LeVar leap into the backfield and nailed the running back for a tackle for a loss. An incredible play here against Purdue. He got after Drew Brees as Courtney Brown did that afternoon. Here against Pittsburgh, this is late in the Lamar Leap again, blocking the field goal. And you see intimidation in his game, not just on a game, game basis in the big games, every week and every time he puts on those pads, he goes about his business in a very workmanlike, very serious manner. Here he drew a penalty flag, took a seat on the sidelines for a while, but when you look at Lamar Arrington, that's what he brings you, that attitude and the emotion and a passion for the game that really, I think in this draft, you guys, is second to none. I think you see here the causing, the interception. This is the A&M game where Jerry Sandusky, defensive coordinator, his last game, LeVar Arrington, Courtney Brown set out the win one for Jerry Sandusky. They shut out the Aggies of Texas A&M. Arrington was the key guy there. And for me, I tell you, it wasn't hard to say, okay, who's the best player in this draft? In my opinion, there's no doubt LeVar Arrington is that player. So what a proud